Hello, my name's Paul Grogan, and today I'm going to be giving you another uh, video where I build an insert. So this is the E-Raptor insert for Maracaibo. This is my copy of Maracaibo, one of my favourite games of the oh. year it came out. And as you can see, at the moment, I've got everything in here in Ziploc bags. Now, I love Ziploc bags, so I have no problem with this, but obviously um, it takes a while to get it all out, set it all up and everything else, and it does look a little bit messy. So, here we are. It's another time-lapse video. And I'm going to be building the insert, the E-Raptor insert for Maracaibo, which also comes with four organizers. So off we go. Right. So yeah, the first thing is obviously take everything out of the box, have a look, look at the instructions and see what you do. Now the instructions have got everything numbered. So basically what the first thing we did is identify which the numbered components are on the various boards and then start punching around. Here what we did is we put them out in piles. So we got one, then two, then three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, and then we split up the task of building the bit on the insert. So I was I was doing the bit on the the, the left hand side of the image or the top as you're looking at it, uh, and Vicky did the other one. So these these snap together as you can. No glue is involved. They snap together, but you have to use quite a bit of force to get the get the bits of wood out of the frame. Uh, oh, those look those look like little men. I remember now. Um, yeah, and th and then when you push the things together, you have to be quite forceful. So you don't want to break it, but you do have to push them in because the way the locking system works you really have to push them in hard but once they're in they're pretty much fixed now I did make a mistake at some point later on you can get them out again um, but yeah yeah so that's that so these are little tile trays now we're moving on to the next one this was nice and easy that was just a component box uh, then we go on to the next bit so again pushing these out now watching this back at uh, what is it 1200 percent speed Makes it look easy, but yeah, these things do push. This, this, these things do take a while to push out. So, so these are the player trays that I'm building, and Vicky's building a tray for I think the synergy tokens. Uh, and the game comes with these clear plastic covers, which uh, the plastic sheet is on them at the moment. We take the plastic sheet off at the end, so that's why they've got a kind of bluey green sheen to them. Uh, right now, this one was a bit tricky, but yeah, this is what's going to be containing the victory point values. Uh, and then we go on to the plastic bit. Now this was a lot harder. This is the first one I've punched out in Perspex. It's called glass in the instruction manual, but it's Perspex. And this was actually a lot harder to punch out. And in fact, I did break one of the bits when punching this out. So you've got to be very careful with this. Um, and yeah, the instructions were a little bit vague on this one as to where everything went, which is why we had to do. <laughs> we, had, we had a couple of tries, um, but eventually we, we, we did get it together and it, and it did go together fine. Um, yeah, it was just, it was just took a while. Now, the next thing we're doing is we're taking off the plastic sheets, which, uh, yeah, Vicky struggled with this, even though she's got nails. The trick here for me was to basically scratch it, scratch the surface of the plastic and then peel it back. And here we are taking out all of the contents of the box and we're trying to work out what goes where. And this is at the point where there are no instructions in this, okay? The instructions that come with the insert sort of tell you how to put it together. They're not great, but we worked it out. But in terms of what actually goes in what components, we, uh, we didn't know. We, we, we had to sort of, you know, start guessing as to what went where uh, to work out where it, where it goes. And then you have to look on the website. You can see what I'm doing here. As I'm looking at the website to find out exactly what goes where and how everything goes in the box. Now, I'm gonna to speak to eRaptor. I think they really should put those pictures inside the insert or at least say refer to the website to see how this goes in the box because otherwise yeah we actually didn't know now you can see vicky there he's putting all of the little player colors in the in the player trays they they, they do fit but it's very tight and it's a it's yeah that that's my biggest criticism i think of this insert although it goes in and it looks nice the player trays are not quite big enough for all of the components you have to do a little jigsaw puzzle to get them in anyway we're now onto the player board so this is more Perspex, uh, and I was worried that we were going to need some kind of Allen key or anything to put these together, because there's lots of little screws, but actually we didn't. And we didn't really need any instructions for these, because these were it was fairly obvious how it all went together. Um, yeah, I'm sure other people might struggle. There you go, there's one done. Um, so yeah, basically it, it's two large sheets of Perspex with little dividers on three of the sides, and then the screws go through, and little washers, and again, no instructions on where to put the washers or anything else like that, but because I know how screws work, um, yeah, I knew where to put the washers. So that's that's them done. Tighten that up. That goes in there. That all goes in there. Now, again, no instructions on how to put this away, um, but 
it, it was a bit fiddly, but it all went in there. And there we go, it is done. Okay, so yeah, about an hour in total for two of us. Um, now, let's do the set. So I think this is gonna need one of those elastic bands around it, because I think if you store this vertically, it's definitely gonna come open, it's very heavy. Once it's got one of the bands around it, I'm gonna give it a big shake, see what happens. So this is in the back of my car. And hopefully, that sounds like a cat. Hopefully everything has stayed. They're the bits I worried about because I didn't put them away properly. But yeah, everything has stayed there. Yeah, so it's it's yeah, it's all fine. Um, tiles have come out a little bit. The bit that I really like, which is definitely going to save time on setup, is where is it? So this bit was a bit tight. This money doesn't really go in. Uh, that much. I mean, it just about goes in, but it's extremely tight on there. Um, so this bit's really good. Now, I did, to be honest, I did break one of these, taking it out. Um, it was, this was really tough to take out, so you've got to be very careful with it. Uh, but I like this bit because when you're playing the game, as part of setup, one of the things that you do is you have to take all the cubes out and put them on here. And it takes ages and it's really fiddly. And with this, all you do is you just take this box out and you put the box on there like that. So yeah, it's already done for you. That's gonna, that's definitely gonna speed up the play um, a bit. Yeah, but be very careful uh, when you are punching these out. And the Perspex ones was definitely a bit, a bit tighter. Uh, you may not have been able to see it from the time lapse video, but when you are punching out of the wooden boards, uh, you definitely need to use quite a bit of force um, when you're punching out. And when you're clipping it together, you have to use force. But we didn't break anything when putting it together. It was only that bit of perspex that I broke when taking it out. Now, that's not right. Oh, there we go. Um, the other thing is we looked at the website because, unfortunately, the instructions that come with it, whilst, whilst quite good, I found these instructions were clearer than the last ones we did. But it's just the instructions on how to put it together, um, unless it was on the box. Yeah, no, there was nothing. So in terms of how it's all supposed to go in the box, that's on the website. Uh, and that's unfortunate. I'm going to ask them if they can actually include that. Um, yeah, with this, because otherwise you've got to keep going to the website to remember how to put this away. Um, and little things like at the end, we found that these weren't stacking so well. Um, so we ended up putting them. What did we do? We put them back to back. We found that if you put them back to back uh, and stagger them, then they stack better. And again, that's something we, we worked out. I'm sure that's how you're supposed to do it, but that's not on the instructions. So yeah, some, some improvements to be made for the instructions, but we managed to do it. There you go, that goes in. That is the Maracaibo E-Raptor insert. Thank you very much to E-Raptor for that. Uh, makes me want to play the game again. Right, thank you very much for watching. Proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.